at this. Looks ancient. Let's see what's on it. What'd you find? This is the hollow that Dagon was watching. Sorry. I... You scared me. You must be Kata. I'm Cal. And this is BD-1. It's nice to meet you. Where's your dad, Kata? He said to pack for a trip. Work here, do you? No. You're the first person to figure that out. Are you really a Jedi? Yeah. I am. Well, I have to finish packing. I can't find my Mookie doll. Uh, yeah, I'll help you find him. This Mookie? <laughs> Kinda looks like me. A little. My mama gave him to me. Kata. Did your dad tell you where he's taking you? It was supposed to be a surprise. But you got here a little sooner than I expected. Come here, Kata. Papa, what's going on? This is my best friend. We had a fight, but we'll get things settled. When we go. Jedi? Yeah. How'd you survive the purge? The Council assigned a few of us to intelligence during the Clone Wars. I used the skills that I learned there to disappear. Went into hiding. Didn't know who to trust. Familiar story. most incredible woman. Hey, Mama. One day, Kata and I were out running errands, and I got this message. Don't come home. Inquisitors. Looking for me. My wife bought us the time to escape. I knew I couldn't run forever. And so I cut a deal. Then Vic keeps us hidden. As long as Papa stays useful. You were lying to us from the very start. was a way out for both of our families. But you were gonna give it to the hidden path. A, a, a bunch of strangers. And you were gonna sacrifice thousands of people to save yourself. Your monster boat.
The first time I held her, I saw the entire galaxy in her eyes. <laughs> you can't understand. I understand betrayal. And that you lured me here to take down this base. Right. Well, fighting the Empire is what you do best. The intruder is in my quarters. He's armed. Shoot to kill. Kill that Jedi! Bode! You're Get dead! Run away!
need help.
Harmon. You okay? Boat's escaping. If he gets away, he's gone forever. Hey, Merrick, you hear that? Harry, but where'd she run off to? Destroy that fighter! Don't let that creature escape! We're too late. It was only the Force. We gotta get back to the Mantis. All personnel, the Force is Nice throw, BD. Baron! Cal! Why are you here? Why do you think? I'm rescuing you!
you okay? Yes. Let's get out of here. daughter and the compass. They use me as a distraction. Damn you! Go on, Jedi. Do it! Do it! Rather you than Lord Vader! Who is this? He sent boat after our team. My crew. Cordova. Mm. Seer! Mm. They're all dead because of him! Come! This is what Bode wants. I know you are in pain, but this is not you! The Empire has taken enough from us! I will not lose you two! Do you want the mantis? <laughs> Give the Inquisitors my regards. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm fine, buddy. You don't have to worry about me. again, you will tell me. I will. Good. I am staying here for now. Oh, finally, I was worried sick. Wait, don't tell me. He was fighting the entire base, wasn't he? You are right. Okay, Cal. We got no boat. We got no compass. Now tell me the truth. I can take it. We lost Evelyn. One compass remains. If you are hearing this, you know where I've left it. But if the compass is gone, do not despair. What's this? This isn't just the last goodbye. There is another way to reach Tanalor. Activate the arrays and align them to the coordinates embedded in this message. There's a control center here. If we align the arrays, we can create a flight path through the abyss. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You want me to fly the Manus through a ship-eating nebula using a tiny tunnel carved out by 200-year-old tech? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Where do we go? How can we be sure this experiment's going to work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss, and then fly through? 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Over here, kid. We're about to land. Healy, what made you stop your research? I lost my lab. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate. Escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Oh, you're safe here. I have been told that before. But when you say it, I believe it, Cal. Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in the harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Is there any plant you can't grow? There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. Well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out that subspecies of Puglia blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist. Oh, hello. I got bad news, Cal. Got plenty of my own heart. We'll have to wait. All right. Don't let me keep you. Oi, Cal. Good to see you. The Empire's dreadful, isn't it? Not the word I'd use. Something stronger than it? Reprehensible? I'd go even stronger. I didn't want to believe something so despicable could have filled the vacuum left by the Order. No time to talk. Behold, imports! Farewell, my friend. We are close to finishing this. One way or another. Yeah. I keep thinking about what happened on Nova Garon. I know. Just don't brood so much that you lose your edge. We're counting on you. Yeah. I understand. We're in this together. That's what's keeping me going.
What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. It sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an Imperial control zone. Hey! I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Dreo, my old partner. He had a ghastly sense of style. Another outlaw? Not when I met him. He was running a perfectly legitimate port in Rhodia. Allowed me to use his docks for my shipments. No questions asked, supposedly. But we got to talking anyways. Sounds like a nice guy. He was the genuine article, all right. Probably why things didn't work out between us. So you've been out of the game completely since the Empire cracked down? More or less. Not that I didn't go down swinging. When the company went belly up, I insisted I could turn things around. But Dreo, my partner, he wanted to leave together. So what happened? Well, he left, all right. But in my infinite wisdom, I decided to stick it out. Try to turn the cards in my favor. I got greedy. I can't tell you how badly I wish I'd gone with him. Instead, I chose what you might call the scenic route to rock bottom. And that brings us to this rue brittle cantina years later. At least he got out eventually. Will you take some advice, Cal? Sure. It's not just about getting out. It's about getting out before you lose everything. More Imperials by the day. Looks like the party's over before it even began. So you ended up on Kuat. Shipyards must have some interesting sounds. Oh yeah, absolutely filthy soundscape. Real solid samples. Things got really going when I met Didi, though. You found him in the shipyards? That's right. I used to hang out at this monitoring station just listening to the yards. I caught Dee Dee here jamming on some recordings. Dee Dee was already making music when you met? Hell yeah. This little droid's got this natural gift. No other way to put it. He just needed the right opportunity. Let's talk later, Cal, yeah? It is, you killed some Jedi relic from the past. The one leading the Raiders. What was the bounty? No bounty. No bounty? You risked your life for free? Uh, I don't know. Not every reward is in credits. Besides, pretty sure I get free room and board here at Pyloons. Is that what your life is worth, Cal? Didn't take you for a gambler. The brood's getting desperate now, Cal. How's that? They've sent one of their best gunslingers to Jeddah, complete with droid backup, called the Half, and their partner, a droid called the Other Half. The Half and the Other Half? Eh, say what you will about the Hexian Brood, but they don't like personality. Can't argue with that. Go give them a warm welcome, will ya? Apparently, Sork Tolmo still hasn't learned his lesson. Best selection in the system? Guaranteed. You have to admit, that's not bad. How you doing? See you when I see you. How are you holding up, Grease? I'm just, I'm, I'm so angry, you know? I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, me too. Let's talk in a bit, yeah? Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? Not exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Hi, Cal. Where's your buddy at? Boat's gone. Sorry. I know you two were close. He's not dead. He 
betrayed us to the Empire. Huh. Sounds like you're on the hunt, then. That's right. Do what you gotta do. Just remember that vengeance breeds vengeance. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Cal! Glad you're here. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Are you sounding like a local? Oh, before I forget, I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. They're going to start a hollow tactics table at Pyloons. Now we're talking. Piazza that size? Well, just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. Salutations. Great for you. You got a good eye. Looks good to me. I knew you'd pick that up. Done. You know a good deal when you see it. I'll take it. It's a deal. Oh, take a look at that. Can't go wrong with this. I held that one just for you. Once you're not in a joking mood. A lot of change is coming to this outpost. And in our experience, change is no laughing matter. I mean, unless it's you changing your outfit. <laughs> uh, but seriously, it's no laughing matter. The last big change here was when the cantina's old owner kicked the bucket. After that, we never felt like we belonged. The last of an old breed. The only good thing was the influx of new, more ridiculous chumps to make fun of. Chumps like you. <laughs> What a chump. What? Eh.
A lot of them chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? Maybe not Turtle. Back to it. Herge troopers? What are they doing here? Thank you. 
engage the target. Now! Hey, don't move! 